Crafting double death runes is the highest possible reward you can acquire from leveling up your rune crafting. You would think that achieving level 99 in the least leveled skill would net you some serious profit, right? In the great year of 2020, I wanted to test this out for myself and see how much GP per hour I could obtain. This video will also cover how to craft death runes in general, but if you didn't care about that, I'll leave some timestamps on screen for you to skip around. For the rest of you, let's strap in and talk about some requirements and recommendations. As far as crafting death runes go, you'll need level 65 rune crafting, completing Morning's End Part 2, and having as many rune crafting pouches as your level permits. Now we are going to opt for the Abyss method of crafting because normally traveling to the altar without the Abyss takes a significantly longer amount of time. However, I will leave links below if you still want to normally travel there. Since we are Abyss crafting, we will have some additional requirements and items to obtain. The Abyss is located above Edgeville and around level 5 Wilderness, but you really won't have to worry about any peak errors because you don't risk that much money at all. Let me guide you through a typical run and tell you exactly what we're gonna do. We are going to start at Edgeville, equip our Graceful Gear, Glory Amulet, Pickaxe, and fill up on Pure Essence. Next we'll run up north into the Wilderness and teleport with the Mage of Zamorak. Now when you enter the Abyss a few things will happen. You will become Scald, your prayer will drain completely, and depending on your combat level, a lot of monsters might attack you. You'll want to run to the nearest agility or mining blockage and enter the inner ring of the abyss. From there, the death altar portal will be on the northeastern part of the ring. After making your way through and using all of your essence on the altar, you can use your glory amulet to teleport back to Edgeville, resupply at the bank, and start the whole process over again. It is a pretty simple run, but I do have a few quick pro tips to share. First off, if you don't have Graceful Gear, then there are many alternative items that lower your weight for maximum energy retention. On top of that, a Falador Shield can be nice for a little extra defense plus a once daily prayer restore if you need it for some reason. An Explorer's Ring can be used to restore run energy a few times daily, and an Amulet of Eternal Glory can be used for infinite teleports. Just know if you do get PK'd, then you will lose it and it's probably not worth the risk. I also know a popular item to bring is a Black Pickaxe because it doesn't weigh anything but it actually doesn't provide any additional bonus if your weight is at or under 0kg. Now if that is the case, then using a bronze pickaxe would be the best because you don't risk any additional money. I also need to mention that when your pouches degrade and become unusable, you will need to talk to the dark mage in the middle of the abyss to repair them. I think it's time to talk about cash. Let's talk over 1 mil an hour cash. 1.3 mil to be exact. I was actually surprised by how much I was able to make in an hour. I always see people bashing 99 runecrafting because of how long it takes to obtain, and I get it, for some people even 1.3 mil an hour doesn't make it worth it. On top of that, double astral runes are currently more GP per hour, and that only requires the level 82 runecrafting. Which runes to craft really comes down to what the market prices are at the time, and it can change quite a bit. I also ended with only 27k experience for the hour. It's worth noting that your XP rates are tied to how many essence pouches you have not the fact that I was able to craft 2 runes per 1 essence. So are double death runes worth it? Honestly, not really. The base GP per hour isn't what makes it bad though. I mean 1.3 mil is pretty nice. It's simply the fact that lower rune crafting levels have access to higher GP per hour. I kinda knew that going into this, but this was meant to be more of a fun experiment than anything else. So if you enjoyed the video or learned something, then definitely give it a thumbs up. I could use all the help I can to grow the channel. We've been doing awesome and steadily growing faster than ever before. As always, if you have any questions about runecrafting, or runescape in general, feel free to ask me. That is it for this one guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on Monday for the next video.